Hey guys, thought I'd uh, make a new video with the uh, Vsan HG tablet uh, showing off a, an app that somebody actually just recommended to me today which I thought was pretty cool called uh, Power Strip. Um, basically you can use it on the phone too, it doesn't have to be on a tablet but it happens to work real nice with a, a big screen uh, like, like the Vsonic G tablet and uh, I'm, I'm a minimalist, I, like, I don't like to have too much on clutter on the home screen although I do like the uh, widgets that I have, a calendar or agenda widget, I have a weather widget and then music and then my volume uh, audio manager uh, app up in the corner and I, I have an app drawer here in the, in the bottom left, but, but you're going to see in a minute that uh, it really doesn't, I don't really don't need it anymore with this new uh, new uh, app, Power Strip. So let's start. Um, it's basically a home replacement that allows you to still work, still functions with Launcher Pro and, and ADW Launcher, which I happen to have ADW Launcher uh, EX. So if you hit the home button once, what you're going to see is. And you know, it's once comes up, hit it again, and it, and it comes back to the home screen. So, when you hit it, you're going to notice that a toolbar pops up here at the bottom, the launcher bar. It gives you the options for your entire app drawer, uh, shortcuts that you can pick, your recent apps. It'll show you the last, I think it's the last 10 or 11 apps. Context, which is a, a developer, uh, the developer's interaction, and then and the, these are basically widgets or shortcuts that you can launch and, and this is a little bit different than some of the other launchers just because it actually works with widgets that will pop up on top of whatever app you have running so uh, for instance what's kinda handy is I have a music one set up so it's got the controls here and, and, you know, I'm not gonna play the music I'm gonna turn the volume down so that you uh, YouTube doesn't like uh, you know the copyright issues but if you notice up on the top right I have this set to shuffle so You'll see the uh, on my music player it shows up on the notification bar. This is still a widget from uh, Power Strip, and then it's got my widget up here from the music player. So if I hit the forward button, I actually hit the uh, uh, title. If you hit the title, it launches the actual player. So if I hit the forward button, you'll notice that up on the top right, when it goes to the next song, it actually all updates live. So which is kind of which is pretty neat. Um, I have it on shuffle, so it's just going between albums. But I thought it was kind of a neat thing that it actually does live. There's no there's no lag between the two. Um, and if you notice, I hit like uh, I have one set for my bookmarks. Oops, I have one set for with my bookmarks here, and I can scroll between them and, and launch my browser. So let's say for instance I had uh, we'll we'll do a trial. We'll launch the G the GTAP fans page. Bring that up. Um, you know, somebody might ask, like, why why would you want a uh, power strip? What's kind of neat is, say, you were to be browsing here. Uh, I was giving the example to my wife. You're you're booking a trip. You're on a travel site or something. You wanted to look at your calendar, so um, you could launch the calendar here, and the calendar is in front of the app. If you can see, uh, zoom too much and give too much information away. But say you want to uh, say you want to look at like this date. You could click on it. The app is open, you hit the back button, brings you back to where you were, back one more time, and you're back into the app. You, you didn't leave the app, which, which really makes the multitasking of Android even better. Uh, you're, not, you're not actually leaving, everything is still on the page. Same thing goes for any of these widgets, which is kind of neat, like you bring up the weather, uh, your music player. You're still in the app, uh, power, uh, the little, the little uh, settings bar, uh, market. You know, you're still you're still actually in the app, which is really nice. You can bring up the launcher bar. Uh, this is all the all the apps actually. First time you load this, it takes a little bit to load, but it's 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 worth it. It's it's really neat to just not have to go back to the home screen to launch an app. It's I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal, but it actually is pretty neat. And then shortcuts you can set up. Like I set up some the apps that I use the most, and you can actually put more than just what you see there on the page um, which is kind of nice too um, it'll scroll back and forth between them and the recent which would just take over uh, if you were to hold the the home button that's the default function if you notice you bring up the last uh, apps that you open so in any case that's the way it works um, there there's a lot of uh, little tricks here and there that that I haven't discovered yet but um, I'm already 
pretty excited about the fact that I can get rid of, if you looked at my last video, I had a lot of um, icons along the bottom of, of shortcuts for the for the, um, the different apps. It's the ones I use the most. And I might even actually get rid of that open close. Uh, I just have it on there just in case somebody's using my device that's not familiar with this and wouldn't know to come to uh, to apps to get into the... Uh, to get into my apps list, so oh, that's a good way to keep people from using your your uh, tablet without you knowing. So, in any case, thought I'd just uh, post it up. You guys can ask me questions if you want. Um, there's other videos about tricks that you can have. Uh, somebody had a pretty good tip. Uh, one of the other uh, videos that I saw that said if you were in the map and you wanted to toggle the setting, the uh, GPS on, you could do that in the GPS and then just toggle, hit your power strip, and then turn your settings on or off, which is pretty cool. So anyways, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Put up another video probably in the next week or so on a couple few couple apps I just uh, downloaded that I really like a lot. So, cheers.